Hey there, this is Jim, your product expert with Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure, entertainment, and hopefully some good information. Today we're going to talk about gas pumps. Um, these pumps uh, obviously are, you're cutting the tether away from you, so you've got some mobility here, and you can go into uh, um, wilderness areas, um, remote areas, and uh, pump water to your heart's content. So uh, there's different options available for these for different applications, obviously. Um, these are non-submersible pumps, so they are not designed to be put in water. Don't buy a pump like this and throw it in the lake and expect something to happen because you're going to be throwing money away. So, so don't do that, but uh, these are gas-powered pumps. They're above ground or non-submersible pumps. Uh, pumping ranges on these can range anywhere from three, 30 gallons a minute on up over 1,000 gallons a minute, depending on the style and the, the type of pump. It's going to be used in almost any applications where you're need, needing to pump water from point A to point B. Head lifts on these, depending on the pump, can vary from uh, zero feet to over 300 feet of head lift. So vertical head lift, it can pump water that high on some of these, um, thus giving you some good pressure on some of these too. And specific applications from basic dewatering to semi-trash to trash pumps to chemical pumps, diaphragm pumps and high pressure pumps and all kinds of different pumps. So we're going to start with the top pump over here. This is a basic dewatering pump. This is a little guy over here. This is going to do about 30 gallons a minute. Uh, for clear water, clean water, uh, you don't want to have any kind of debris in the water when you're pumping with this. Uh, and this is going to be uh, for basic needs for moving point, uh, water from point A to point B, maybe from a water, uh, from a, a lake to a tank or from a creek to a pond or something like that. We just need a little bit of water moved here and there or emptying out a hot tub or something like that outside. Um, so that's going to be used for that kind of application. These obviously can be... Uh, uh, are available in larger pumps too. So you can get these up to about four inch pumps, uh, moving probably well over 400 gallons a minute. Um, the bottom pump down here on the bottom left will be a, a semi-trash pump. These are gonna be used for, for moving water with a little bit of trash, semi-trash. So like blade, blades of grass, seaweed, um, leaves, things like that might get in the water. Uh, this pump will handle that kind of application. Uh, usually just starting out about an inch and a half to maybe a three inch pump on this and ranges anywhere from maybe 100 gallons a minute on up to maybe 250 gallons a minute roughly from there. Um, on the other side of the coin, we've got a trash pump on the upper right-hand corner over here. This will handle actual trash and uh, solids, typically up to about 40 to 50% the size of the discharge poured on these. Uh, so if you have like a four inch trash pump, it'll handle about an inch and a half to two inch solids going through there. Um, these are gonna be a little bit more robust. They can handle more stuff, as I mentioned, going through there. Um, they'll have a cleanup port too, like you see in the front here. That's going to be a distinguishing feature on these pumps. So if you do uh, pump too much trash and it starts getting collected and jammed up here, these are op these open up pretty easily. So you can swing it open, clean that sucker out, close it back up, and get pumping again. Um, the bottom right down here is going to be more of a chemical pump. So if you're pumping salt water or, or something with chemicals in it, uh, this will be the go-to pump for that. Uh, most of your um, manuals and things for these pumps will list whatever chemicals they can handle. Um, so that's a good option to go with. And on the uh, back side of the coin, we've got the diaphragm pumps. That's the one in the middle here. Uh, you're pumping a lot of a lot of sewage or uh, thick stuff, sludge out of the bottom of a pond. Anything that's really thicker than water is the way, best way to explain it. This is the pump you're going to deal with. This is going to diaphragm as opposed to an impeller that rotates on a shaft with all of these other pumps. This pump has a diaphragm that moves up and down on a cam from your engine. On the upstroke, it pulls the water in. Downstroke, it pushes it out the other side. So this can handle sludge and something heavier. Now that said, you're going to be limited on what kind of head lift you can be, be dealing with on this and how far you can pump it. Think about it. You're pumping sludge. It's going to be some pretty heavy stuff if you're going through a lot of hose you're not going to be able to pump that very far because of the weight involved there. So doing that kind of application, sludge, slime, anything like that, you're going to be limited to maybe about 20 foot total head lift and maybe 50 feet total pumping distance, maybe 75 if you're lucky. So keep that in mind with the diaphragm pumps too. Um, there's also high pressure pumps. They're going to look similar to like a regular dewatering pump. Um, they can handle longer runs if you're pumping water a longer distance or higher vertically. Um, those are the pumps you want to go with. Or if you're looking for something like a fire pump uh, to run hose for, for fighting fires, uh, it's going to be a high pressure pump. Those will be able to provide more pressures. They can pump higher, which equates to higher pressure, whereas these are pretty limited to maybe 
50, 60, 70 feet of total head lift with a lot of these. Some of these pumps you can get um, that'll handle up to 300 plus feet of head, which can equate to over 100 PSI. Um, so that's what those are used for. So hopefully that gives you a little uh, lesson on gas pumps, what's available out there, what uh, applications you can use these for. If you have any other questions, uh, shoot me an email, give me a call, check out our website, sumpumpsdirect.com. Check out our uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, you'll have a great day. Take care.